Hello! If you are watching this, you are catching the replay. And I am just going to pull up the computer so that I can see uh, any comments to answer questions or chit chat along. So I'm just pulling this up. And my computer's like 30 seconds behind. So there's a little bit of a lag. So happy Monday. I wanted to come in today and reintroduce myself because I have tons of new followers. Thank you. I'm so excited. And I wanted to make some cards with you. So just a little bit about who I am and what I do. My name is Danielle. I am an independent, close to my heart consultant. And so that just means that I play with paper all day long. And when people shop with me, I get a commission. Very, very, very super simple. Now I've been scrapbooking for 22 years or something close to that, learning something new every single day. And I love being able to do that. Um, I have a private VIP group. So anybody that orders from me is invited to join my VIP group. And in there we create extra and I go live a little bit more and I do specials and mystery hostess and things like that. So um, that's a little bit about me. So I just wanted to, like I said, reintroduce myself and let everybody know who I am. And now I would like to get crafty. So I'm going to flip my camera around so that you can see my work area. And hopefully this will all uh, turn out really good. I'm going to be using the uh, National Scrapbooking Day card making workshop number one. So let's flip my camera around and get started. All right, there's my work surface. Now I'm going to do something just a little bit different than what you see here. Sorry why this gets a little set up here. If you're a little motion sickness, just give me a second to get it all ready to roll. <clears throat> so I'm a little stand, right, so that you guys can see me. So I have, just moving some lighting over. Do, 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 do. So I thought that um, these were really cute cards on their own. I especially love them. I don't think there's any changes, but I have a really cool change to this card that I wanted to share with you today. So if you had this kit, no worries. If you don't have this kit, it's still available. So bonus. So let's get crafting. Let's, cre let's create this card really quick and then I'll save this one for last. So this one is super cute. I have everything pre-cut because I've already followed the directions. And so one of the things that I'm going to do first is I'm going to doodle on the outside of my card just to get this done. I always forget about this part and do it last and then I end up scrunching it in. So I'm just doodling on this. I'm going to grab some adhesive and I'm going to um, start layering some things down here. So this kit, this workshop that um, is from the National Scrapbook Day Bundles makes 25 cards, I think, five cards, five designs, four of each design. Look how cute that goes together. And I'm not sure if you've seen this paper yet, but it's really, um, it's got like that embossed feel, like tone on tone. All right. So now I'm going to grab my stamp set and we are going to stamp this. And then I'm going to show you how to make this a little bit extra. Get my little foam pan out, pad out. So look how cute. So these bottles are two, two separate pieces. So you have the um, sanitizer bottle or the soap bottle. Put this off to the side. And this just, it stamps, it's just such a cute little thing. Um, I'm not coloring. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my regular black ink if I was going to color with alcohol markers or watercolor markers or uh, watercolor pencils, I mean, then I would certainly use um, an all intense ink or even a memento. So I'm just going to put these down like that and I'm just going to kind of make them dance a little, right? 
So there's that's all there is to that. I'm going to clean this off with my little chamois thing. Then I'm going to come in with some super soft glacier ink. You could use any soft ink that you wanted. Um, we could... change it up into canary since I did the glacier on the card that and I can't find my glacier off the top of my head or right at the tip of my fingers I mean so this kind of reminds you of that popular soap that's out there and it just fits right inside how nice does that fit like right inside of that little bottle isn't that cute love that okay so now what I want to do I want to come in with a shimmer brush and I kind of want to just glitz this up a little bit so I could use my clear or my gold. I'm going to come in with the gold and I'm just going to fan this up and around and I'm not really coloring so I'm not too worried about bleeding of the black lines and just enough shimmer to kind of make it pop. I'm done with this, done with this. Look how easy and quick this card is coming together. Granted, I already had everything pre-cut, but if you're doing the workshop, you're gonna have everything pre-cut also. So it's the when you mass produce all the cards at once, it come, they go together just so quickly. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of doodle. Now, if I wanted to, it could come in with my gray marker and I could certainly color in the tops of my jars here. I'm going to finish it off with this little sentiment that's going to say quarantine life, right? And I'll do that again in the black ink. Then I'll dovetail it, adhere everything down, and then we're going to move on to the really super fun card. I cannot wait to show you um, what I'm going to do with it. I think it's super cute. Hopefully you will too. Quarantine life, I'm not dovetailing it. I'm, I'm cutting it at an angle. Sorry about that. All right, get a little bit of adhesive in here. Right down here at the bottom. You could pop this up with some 3D foam tape or leave it as is. Look how cute that came together. I love it, okay. So here was the original, and here it is with a little shimmer. And then I did stay at home on this one. Honestly, the choice is yours. Okay, so now let me show you this fun card that we're gonna do. So I'm not changing any of the cutting file or um, how it goes together initially or anything of that nature. I am adding just one piece of cardstock, a light piece of cardstock, anything that you would want. The color, um, Let's see, the color that I have here is mint, mink, no mint, mint. Mink is the gray. So I'm adding that because I'm gonna have some contrast, but the cutting guides show you how to do all of this. It's so, isn't that so cool, I love it. So I'm gonna take it from this to something just a tad bit different. This is cut at four by five and a quarter so that they will rest nicely with each other. Okay, before we get started, I'm going to come in with some Lagoon ink. I'm going to do some random stamping on this piece right here. And I'm purposely not telling you what we're doing because it's so cool. I want it to be a surprise. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to put this little independent toilet paper roll. And I'm going to ink it up in some Lagoon. I'm grab my stamp. And I'm just going to do some random stamping. Now, the whole thing isn't going to be shown. So if you make a mistake when you're doing this, don't worry about it. These pieces up here really aren't going to be seen. So uh, let's keep that in mind. I know, then why am I doing the whole thing? Because my OCD tells me that the whole thing needs to be complete. I cannot leave it incomplete. Even though it's not, I know that it's not going to be seen there. 
So there's random stamping. Now I have my own pattern paper if I wanted to, to go an extra mile with it. And I like how the lagoon and the mint look together, right? Those are so cute. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Thanks for popping in today. No, I'm probably catching some people during their lunch hour. All right, so we've got that going for us. Switch out some sentiments here because I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to come back in with this piece right here and I'm going to grab my circled eyes. Now I have, if you have the set from Close to My Heart, it comes with, it came with or comes with four circled eyes that look like this. Okay. If you have the shaker set, it comes with an additional size, which is this. So I'm going to use this size. I'm going to skip a circle and then I'm going to use this one and I'm going to put the other two to the side. I don't need those right now. So I'm going to come in with my die cutting machine. I'm going to kind of put it off to the side so you don't have to see the whole bit. And I'm going to die cut a circle out of here. Now, when I do this, I do want to pay attention to where I'm cutting this out because this is still going to be part of my card. So I don't want to cut it too far to the top, too far to the bottom, so on and so forth. So I, but I do want it kind of towards the top. Hope that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of center it this way as about as best as it looks good to me. I'm going to come in with some washi tape just to kind of hold it in and it looks looks okay for me. I'm going to go ahead and run that through my cutting guide, my cutting machine. And I'm just going to run it through twice just because there's a couple of layers that, that that's got to go through. It actually cuts no problem. So the next thing Yep, right? Baby's chilling, so you have to just kind of use use your time however best. Sorry, I'm just catching up with some comments. Okay. So don't throw this away. You're going to need this just right now. So now I have this cut out. This is still going to be part of my card, so I'm going to put it off to the side. And now I have this piece right here. As best as possible, I am going to do my very, very, very best to center this, <clears throat> excuse me, inside of this circle. I'm going to go ahead and put some washi tape down because I feel like it's pretty centered. Just gonna hold it up and look at it. Maybe I could go up just a hair. Okay. I'm gonna cut this out. Now, This piece I can save for another project if I really, really want to. And hopefully I cut that pretty good. Probably doesn't really matter to be honest with you. I just kind of wanted it to line up at the end. So it lines up nicely. Get those things out of the way. I'm gonna come back in with these two pieces and I will also need this one. So if you know what we're doing yet, let me know because it's so fun. This is such a fun technique. Now I'm going to come in and I need some foam pieces to um, adhere this piece up. So it's going to go here. Look how cute those random stamping is. Oh my gosh. So here we go. I'm going to use the inside of my shaker kits to pop this up and I'm just catching the corners first and then I'll fill in here in a second and I'm also going to put the same amount on my circle here 
I don't want to get very close to here because I'm going to have an interactive element, if you've guessed it yet. And so the closer I get to that, the likelihood my element will get hung up on it. It should be just fine. This one might be a little close, but it should be okay. But I want to put enough on that um, my card doesn't sink. And so what I mean by that is it doesn't droop inside over time. And then I'm going to put, I almost used the whole thing. One more right here. Okay. And then I'm going to put some right in the center of this. Careful not to go all the way to the edge. Just kind of put those down a little bit. And now I can take these off one by one. Oh my gosh, this is like watching paint dry, right? This is like such a fun card. And I love, 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 love the no waste with these shaker kit cards, even though we're not making a shaker today, just using these insides and not having to, you know, throw that extra bit away or that it's already actually cut for us. I think that's probably my, my favorite part is that it's already cut into like these little squares. Okay. So now I have all my bits off. I'm going to very carefully line it up because these two pieces are the exact same size. So I'm just going to use my fingers as a little bit of a guide, trying not to press down yet, because once I press down, then it's down. Okay, that looks good. And now I can press it down. So you should have this nice little gap here, and then everything should line up relatively easily. Let's say you get it off and there's a little bit of a overhang, just trim it off. Just roll with it. It will not make or break your card if it's off just a hair or so. All right. And now I'm going to take the center piece off of here. And now I want to, as best as possible, line up my lines and make sure that this is in the center of my project without pushing down. So I might get in here in a little bit. So you might see my head and I apologize, but I really need to make sure that this is super cute, super centered. All right. Now off camera. I took that same paper roll that we did some random stamping back here and I stamped and fussy cut and then I found this really old cuddle bug embossing folder and I embossed it with these cute little flowers. I had said, oh my gosh, hi Sue, thanks for popping in. Um, so I said, oh my gosh, I got to put these on, like who doesn't have quilted toilet paper of some sort, right? Okay, so I stamped those. And I also stamped this, I survived the TP crisis of 2020, Survivor. So I'm going to put some adhesive on this, and I'm going to put it right in the center. These are all stamps that are included in the stamp set, so it's, I didn't pull from any other source. And I'm just going to put that in the center. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to need some circle foam dots. So I have 3D foam dots here. I just need one, and then I'm going to need, if you guessed it, two pennies. So I'm going to take the circle. You could use squares, but you're going to have to trim them down. If you use the squares, they're probably going to get hung up. So I'm just going to put this in the center. I make two pennies like that. Okay, feel around. And then I'm going to manipulate my paper so that my pennies go around. This is why it was important that this was centered because if it's off two side, your penny could fall out and then it won't work. And now um, the paper that I used, I used a scrap paper to do this, which I thought I was grabbing White Daisy at first, not realizing it and ended up being some, um, not White Daisy. So I'm gonna put these two together just so that they're a little, has more stability to it. You don't have to do that. Use a good quality cardstock. I'm going to grab in my three, not three, just glue dot. I'm just going to try and center as best as I can, pop it on, and then pop it right on that penny. Okay, 
How stinking cute and easy is that? I love it. Okay, now I went ahead and pre-stamped this. Just roll with it because I thought that was too cute not to use. I'm going to dovetail the end of it. So I'm just that means I'm just cutting a line up the center and going from one corner to that center cut point and the other corner to the center cut point. And then I'm going to take my journaling pen. I'm going to doodle. Right around this banner. I needed a long dramatic pause with that, I guess. Now, I'm gonna add some adhesive to it. Pop it on. And I have a different style of card. A little overhang there. So tell me which one is your favorite. Do you like this? Would you change it up? So I thought this was cute. Sorry, Corona ruined your birthday, vacation. There's loads of things that I could have. Um, but then I thought, gosh, this pattern, it was just so cool not to do something like this. So let me know in the comments below which card you like the best. I appreciate you joining me today. Hi, Luann. Hi, Jennifer. Um, I appreciate you guys joining in today on this fabulous Monday. I am teaching over at Let's Flock Together. I'm going to be using dyes again at 4 p.m. So if you want to see something else completely different, join me at 4 p.m. over at Let's Flock Together on the Facebook group. Have a fantastic Monday, everybody. Bye.